Hi, so today's the day we're gonna take the Petoskeys out of our rinse, look at them, and then move them on to stage two. Hopefully all of them, but maybe not. We'll see what happened. I have to hang you on my lamp. Uh-huh. And then um, we're gonna start. <clears throat> okay. I didn't put my gloves on. These gloves are very useful. They're rubber insulated gloves. Uh, they were just at a gas station. Uh, I don't remember, like maybe eight bucks. Um, I thought I got a hole in one of them one day. It must be the other one. Somehow they got wet on the inside. I don't know. There's no hole in either, so I don't know what's going on with that. That's weird. Maybe it was a parallel universe. Who knows? So what we're going to do is empty out a barrel. And I'm going to put this mesh in that strainer to catch any smalls. Yeah. Because the strainer has bigger holes. Um, and I know I have some smalls that might slip through. So here we go. I took the lid off. Here is the barrel. And here's that pointed end that I've been talking about. This is hollow. So guess what gets stuck in there? Got it. Grit, little stones, and little tiny pieces of ceramic media. I'm gonna tip it upside down, maybe a couple times, not too rough, and then we'll dump it in. Here we go. Oh, and you don't get to see the water this way, so yes, you will. The water is gray. See that? Um. That's how dirty it was. Remember we rinsed them off? Uh, so they do need more rinsing, definitely. I have my big kitty litter bucket with some water in it and I pour it into a pitcher. Uh, and I go slow because I'm next to a heater. And careful, there we go. Then I'm gonna dump it over the Petoskeys. They're sitting there waiting, and I might even lift some up, and then, yeah. I think that's maybe one more rinse. Um, I don't have a lot of water out here today, so I have to conserve, because I was too lazy to get more water, really. That's what it boiled down to. All right, I got them in there now. I'm gonna take my little Walmart uh, shoebox, wipe it out a little because it looks like it has dried grit, even though I rinsed it out really good. Uh, maybe that's not grit. Okay, is that? No, I guess there is some. You definitely don't want grit from one stage going into the other. And grit can get stuck in plastic. So, all right, I'm gonna dump them in there carefully along with the media. <clears throat> carefully. All right, good. These are the blacker ones. <clears throat> and let's see. Um, isn't that a nice one? It's got the long pattern. I don't know what you call that. Maybe it's stems, I'm not sure. Uh, Petoskey was coral at one point. This is a beauty. This will be a palm stone most likely. It's pretty big for jewelry and it's fat. I, uh, I you know, that's too big. But that's pretty nifty. Uh, here's a nice dark one that had some suds on it or something. I'm definitely gonna have to add water to this now, I think, uh, because I think it still has soap on it or something, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna let them swim a little bit in some clean water, because remember, you don't want them to dry out in between stages. Oh, that's beautiful. Other side, it's uh, 
a lot of times you get a Petoskey that has a beautiful front and then the back just is whatever, meh. Um, but they're just beautiful no matter what, really. This one probably could have gone longer. Um, yeah, the back has holes, but uh, shoot, I don't know. Is the, I think my glove has stuff on it. We're gonna take care of that. And some off of it. Man, what am I doing? Yeah, it was all full of grit. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, what's that round one? Oh, that's this one. This one's nifty. I know you've seen it, but look at that. Isn't that fun? Nice round one. Some people say uh, Petoskey's look like little paw prints. Let me see if I can find a good one. This one kind of demonstrates that, but I've seen some that have a really neat pattern that is more footprint-ish. Um, uh, if you like turtles, this one's a nice turtle shell-ish. Whoops, almost lost it. And then one more will do. And then we'll move on to the other barrel. Or we'll just put these back in in stage two. That's what we'll do. This is nifty. Okay. And the back is kind of cool too. So I would do this as a double sided pendant, definitely. <clears throat> so now I'm going to rinse out the barrel more. Oh, I have some there. <clears throat> and we're going to stick these in stage two. That's with my grit glove, I remember now. I need to rinse it better. No. Oh, there's grit caught in the bottom. This is where the fun part begins. And that's why I have a straw. Uh, I need a different tool, but it was all I had at the time and I just keep using it. Um, the straw goes inside the little hole that's inside that little knob because grit gets caught in there. And, uh, it won't just come out with rinsing. So let's see if I got it. I got it. Now one rinse with plain water that isn't contaminated by my glove. Good, I'll have enough water, I think. And then, rinse it off really good. And then we'll put clean water in. A little bit because I'm going to pad it. I, uh, I fill it up so that it's, uh, oh, how do I say it? Um, just below the surface of the rocks. Let's say that. I have a lotto, and the lotto directions for Apache tears and quartz call for lots of padding and lots of water. So that's what I do with everything, and it works. All right, I have my Petoskey sitting in this rinse water that is still kind of dirty. Uh, hmm, let's see. I don't know. It's probably from my gloves, so I think I'm going to have to rinse these again. Um, yeah. Which is a bummer. I'll have to go in and get more water for the other uh, barrel. Whew. Okay, here we go. Oh, that lid is shut. That would have been interesting. Oh, we just lost some water. Yep. It's not fun working with uh, kitty litter boxes as your sink. It's just kind of a pain, but you just have to realize that stuff's going to fall, tip over, get wet. You're going to get wet. Um, so, that's my reality check for you today. Right, there we go. Now, we're going to do, yeah, more water. And then we're going to put it somewhere where it isn't going to fall over, right there, I think. Yep. And this is the fun part, not, is getting these little buggers back in through that hole. I'm going to try something today. It may not work. 
but I have my little net bag. I'm gonna aim. <laughs> nope, it isn't gonna work, I don't think. I can stuff them through, possibly. It's still not working. Nope, that doesn't work. But at least they're going in the plastic bucket. Uh, some of it went in, but yeah, that didn't work very well. Um, nope. I just have a hard time picking this stuff up with these gloves on. Um, and I didn't wear them the other day. And <laughs> my hands got really cold. There we go. All right, we have enough padding of the ceramic <coughs> and enough water. Probably too much water. I'm going to take it out a little. It's just under the rocks. And uh, I'm going to stick it in and let it start vibrating because you want to add the grit slowly. Not all at once. Um, oh, shoot. And, uh, Excuse me, I have to look up how much to put in. And there they are. Okay, so I found the directions, thank goodness. I know I have a photo, uh, not, yeah, I have photos of these directions. You should do that too. Um, where does it say the grit? It says, um, 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 um. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very wordy. Extremely wordy. I've just been using a teaspoon. Oh, there it is. Teaspoon. And then another teaspoon. Yeah, okay, good. So, a teaspoon is correct. I just wanted to make sure because sometimes I don't remember things correctly. And I have my dedicated teaspoons out here. Um, yep. <clears throat> okay, and then the grit is not the same thing that you would use in a rotary, so don't ever do that. Um, this is 120, 220 silicon carbide. Oh, and I just put stage one grit in my stage two, didn't I? I have to rinse them all off. Oh my god. And you know what? That happens. That does happen. I've done it. And I bet other people have too. So, I'm not going to have you watch me do all that again. Um, bummer. I'll be back. Okay, so, yep. <clears throat> Had a few choice words on that one, but we're okay. And I'm just rinsing these off a little bit more in my pitcher. Uh, and then I'll pour them in, hopefully. And I'll have a better experience getting them in the little hole. Maybe... I use in the pitcher, and yes, that is working. Sort of. Yep, don't get too excited and go too fast. Um, it does work. Ha! Huh. You can always discover new ways of doing things. And you can discover it by uh, making mistakes. I make mistakes all day long. I make mistakes in wire wrapping, uh, rock polishing, you name it, and I didn't empty the water out. I need to. There, there's too much. There's just a little too much. Now it's good. Just under the top. There we go. Yeah, okay. And then we are going to do it's a tablespoon or a teaspoon, yes. Not a stage one. <laughs> But of stage two, which is really, uh, I don't know, a different stage in the rotary? Can't remember. And this is called 500 aluminum oxide. Aluminum. Aluminium. And it's actually, you can see that it's uh, powdered more than the other stage I showed you, which is more gritty. But it still has some in it, and I'm adding it oh so slowly. Um, it still does some polishing. Or not polishing. It. I don't really, you know what? Tell me what this stage does. Because number one uh, gets the roughness away. It makes them smooth. 
The last stage puts a final polish on. So what is this stage we're doing? Is it a polish stage? I'm interested in knowing if you know. Okay, so that was added. And then, put the top on. Okay. And then that's it for a bit, because I have to get more water. So actually, what I have to do right now, my litter boxes, or excuse me, litter buckets cracked. Because there's a big ice cube in that one. You can see it's melted a lot. Anyway, I left the water in them and shouldn't have. They cracked, and so this thing I have it all in, which is some kind of a, I don't know, but John used it to make cement, I think, or something. It's holding the water, but I have to bail it out now. And I use that pitcher and these. And then they go out the door. So that's what I'll be doing first. Here we go. Okay. Yep. And then we'll bail out the container. Ooh, yeah. The monkey girl's water. I've been listening to a lot of mantras. Um, you haven't tried it yet. It can be very motivating. Uh, peaceful music. It uh, doesn't take you down. You know, negative paths. I need an empty bucket. So yeah, anyway, this is by Geminel. I think. And she has a lot of really good ones. And there's another one, uh, Sophia. Rain, are you um, She's got a couple of one called Intuition. That's a good one. Alright. We've got and there's the full bucket. And that's where Okay, so I'm back and we're gonna do the rest on the other barrel. I need to remember to rinse out my pitcher because that had some nasty, dirty grit water in it. I'll put that in my broken bucket. Uh, along with a little bit of extra stuff laying around here. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah. That's dirty. Here we go. That's pretty dirty. Um, let's see. Uh, dang, man, I had a hot flash. Ah, shoot. Okay, so we're gonna put the net bag inside the strainer again because some of these are little and they could fall through. Um, I'm gonna stick it on top of the kitty litter bucket. First, I'm going to turn it over a couple times just to dislodge any of the extra grit. And then we go. And it's the same dirty water you saw before. I don't think you need to see that again. Uh, I think you get it. And then I'm going to take some warm water and rinse out the barrel and use that water to keep rinsing the rocks. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. Yeah, there's a little piece of something stuck in there. I'm gonna have to get my straw and dig it out. <coughs> Ugh. That was gross. It was in that nasty water. Okay. Let's see. Um Yep, okay, I think I got it. Yeah. One more time. For good measure. Dump it on the rocks. And now that's ready for the next stage and put the lid on it. Now, I want to pour some more water over the rocks to really rinse them good. And then I'm going to let them swim, <clears throat> probably, 
as well in my shoe box. There we go. And then I'm gonna lift some up and move them away and do the rest. Then I'm gonna dump that into my shoe box. Make sure I got them all uh, for the netting. I do. Okay. Then we're gonna put some warm water in there for my little bath. And now I can show them to you without my fingers getting too cold. The rock tumbler is vibrating because it's not happy. It doesn't have the other tumbler in it. So it's off balance. Um, so that's why you're hearing that. Let's see, what do we have here? That needs to be scrubbed. I see one, I think. With grit still all over it. Not sure if that's grit or the pattern. But we're gonna scrub it and see. I don't, none of it's coming off. So it must be the pattern. Uh, Yep, it's still the same. It's a nice one. It's real smooth on this side. Um, this side has some holes, but that's okay. Because you know what? Petoskis are like that. They're not naturally, like, usually they're not perfectly smooth. Um, I found one that's got a crack in it, I think. No, I guess not. That's part of the pattern. It's a beautiful one. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Here's one that has a dark pattern on one side. And then the real light one on that side. Here's one with a very light pattern. Oh, yeah, oh it went right in the bucket, thank goodness. Or, I mean, the shoe box. Here's another one with the long pattern. I don't know what you call that, if it's the stem or what. And then there's that pattern. Let me see if I can find any paw prints that I can show you. Um, that one's kind of a little bit of a paw print. Um, here's one. Yeah. Uh, that's cute. dark streak in the middle. I think those give them character, but the other side is, is perfect Petoskey. These all look pretty good, um, and they were rinsed almost for a full day, so I'm not concerned about grit continuing to be passed on. I'm going to go ahead and transfer them into my barrel. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. It disappeared. So we're going to put water in it first, like always. And then we'll put the rocks in. The water helps cushion when you dump them in, or place them in, I should say. Um, and you know what I didn't do on the last one? I forgot to alternate uh, ceramic with stones, and I just kind of dumped them in there. So I don't know what'll happen with that. So this time I'm doing it layer by layer. Uh, Um, so hopefully they'll turn out good. Um, they are all smooth for the most part, and that's what you look for. I mean, you can let them dry out and check stuff, but I just, I don't know, I've heard you're not supposed to, so I don't. And I keep buckets of stone around that is in various stages of tumbling for that reason. Alright, here we go. That's good. And then we're going to dump that water out into our sink. And then dump it into the barrel. And that was... I don't know, that was a little cloudy. I hope it's okay. Okay. And then we have too much water, so we dump some out. And then put it on the tumbler. Vibratory tumbler, whatever you call the thing you put it into. Let's get our one tablespoon of stage two. Mm. Yeah, that's good. And I'll probably do these until tomorrow afternoon. You know, they don't take long. Add it gradually. 
which I really didn't, because I'm in a hurry. Um, put that in the right order, and then put the lid on. Yeah, some of that didn't go in there. I'm going to take this, okay, just a tiny bit, because I spilled a little. And just a tad more. There we go. Okay. Now the waiting game. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit subscribe and like. And, uh, you know, if you want to share, that'd be cool too. Um, I'm going to clean out my little net and then go inside. Have a good night.